Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Precious and this is Precious Reads and I'm coming to you with my May wrap up. So let's begin. The first book that I completed in May was <laughs> Shadow of the Gods by John Gwyn. <sighs> What a ride, what a ride, what an emotional roller coaster. New favorite characters unlocked Orca, Erna, Varg, just they stole my heart. Varg, I wasn't so a thousand percent into because I wasn't really sure what his role was and what was what was going on with him, but as the book went on absolutely loved it so this is a sort of like nordic if i'm right um fantasy epic fantasy by john Gwynn. we follow a mother a woman who's trying to make it in a um like a war band and an ex-slave who's joined a war band and they are all they all have their own personal goals that they're working towards orcas trying to live a peaceful quiet life with her husband and her son Erna's trying to get recognition for her role within the war band and Varg is just trying to stay alive and to try to also avenge his sister's murder or find out what happened to his sister but all their parts come aligned or align when somebody wakes or tries to wake up the old gods by stealing children and it was emotional Orca's my favorite character Erna's a close second and Varg I'm not quite sure but I'm starting to like him and yeah I gave it five out of five stars and I really really enjoyed it the second book that I read was volume zero of Jujutsu Kaisen was Jujutsu Kaisen zero we are introduced to Utah and Utah joins the Jujutsu College or Academy and he's followed by Rika. She's a spirit that's attached herself to him apparently and he starts to learn how to harness and use Rika to become a sorcerer and make friends on the way absolutely loved it i watched the movie that's why i wanted to read the manga but i'm going to continue with the the, the jujitsu kaisen manga i just downloaded volume one and forgot about it but <laughs> i'll get back to it then i completed the devil's duology by ashley jade with the devil's advocate this again i gave it five out of five stars it ashley jade's stories never go the way that you expect them to go um there are so many twists and turns and just surprises and villains become your favorite characters and your favorite characters become villains and you just like the archetypes of the characters are questioned but I absolutely loved it. We're following from book one where now we know how Cain and Damon stand, where they stand and it's years later, they're out of high school, Cain wants to be mayor, Damon wants to destroy Cain and then we have Eden in the mix um it's taboo it's spicy it's hot and you won't see the twists and turns coming and i loved it just like i love the first book so i gave this five out of five stars and then i read book one in a new series by cassie alexandra blood pack it is a vampire or paranormal romance basically but this one kind of took me listen i enjoyed it i just don't like series that follow one couple case in point this book we know who the couple's gonna be because we read romances all right we know who the couple's going to be but they're not together in book one they barely have page time together in book one they are going on their own little journeys within this book there's a murder there's a problematic ex-husband I get it but that they don't have spent any page time together in book one is kind of not my jam I want to know how they will be together but I like how many books do I have to read before they even like touch like no they are short novellas but like no I gave that three out of five stars like I liked the story I loved the characters on their own uh, but no then choosing theo five out of five stars this is an alien sci-fi romance 
it's similar to Ice Planet Barbarians, except in this world, the men, just like Ice Planet Barbarians, there are very few women in this world. There are very few women in this um, choosing the world. I forgot what the world is called. And the men are trained to look after and care for and nurture women and the household. Like, this was so so good and the fact that I've had it on my shelf for over a year that I haven't picked it up alarming 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 guys just go through your shelves every now and then to see what's up what's going on the next book is praise by Sarah Kate I'm continuing my Sarah Kate like like exploration and in everything I find is a gem so praise by Sarah Kate is an age gap um, it's an age gap office romance sort of uh, dad ex-boyfriend's dad as well so many good tropes so um, this girl breaks up with her boyfriend and they were living together and now they want to split the money for the apartments as they sell it whatever um, and she goes to get the money from her dad from his dad and they have a very interesting meeting when he thinks that she is um, working for him he owns a sex club and tells her to kneel and she's like what <laughs> but then to kind of um, apologize he offers her a job and the romance ensues it was pretty good it was pretty hot mm, I can think yeah I rated it five out of five stars I loved it <laughs> It was so good. And I want to read Praise. Praise is the second book. And the third book is also coming out next month. There's so much that I want to read. It's my job. My job. God. Then the second book that I read because I got kind of... I was, I was in a book hangover after Praise because it was really, really good. So I tried a novella. It is a, um, a sapphic made for her. It's a maid billionaire romance it's like 40 pages as a female billionaire she's married there's cheating so if you don't like that don't read this um billionaire made they have fun there's no plot that's what we like that's what we like and it was like the first uh sapphic like really steamy romances that i enjoyed because i feel like with sapphics they're not really steamy and this was there was no plot people there was no plot then katie roberts dragon's bride i gave this five out of five stars <laughs> soul is just <sighs> the female character the heroine she makes a deal with the devil not a devil a demon to save her from her abusive husband um and the deal entails her signing up a contract to be in servitude for seven years but she doesn't understand what that servitude means and she's transported to this other world and she has to marry one of five monsters they bid for her at auction who wins her hand saw our our handsome sophisticated dragon who <sighs> treats her like butter he like he he like he treats her like she's the best thing that's ever happened to him which is good um and he helps her through the issues that she has because coming from an abusive relationship for sure you have um self-confidence issues you have like this fear there's whatever and she's with a monster so she's expecting the worst and it happens to be that the actual dragon is not a monster but a cinnamon roll like <coughs> spicy soul in public and soul behind closed doors two different people and we love it second book second book the last book that i read this month soul eater even though the month is not open uh, over it's like the 29th but i am going to be working a couple of a lot of shifts so i know i'm not going to finish anything but this is going to be the last book that i read that i've read for the month of may and that is soul eater by lily main i've seen this all over tiktok so i decided to pick it up and i was not disappointed I was not disappointed. Soul Eater is a MM dystopian paranormal romance. I don't know what to call it, but it was epic. The biggest, baddest, darkest monster uses all his powers just to keep a little, little bitty tiny kitty 
human alive and is absolutely a love in love and enamored with his little precious human and it was just guys if there's nothing else that you read on this list soul eater it has to, you have to try soul eater and i've seen it on people's tiktoks for about a while and i never it's available on Kindle unlimited it's part of i think it's a five book series i don't know if it's completed um it follows a whole lot of monsters that have um entered planet earth through a rip in the fabric through space and time i don't know and they've entered this world and basically the world has ended human beings are living in little hovels close to the coast the military obviously trying to capture and experiment on monsters and that's how our two protagonists in this our two our couple meet in this one and it was just it was a slow burn because they're also both shy so it was just like <laughs> I loved it I loved it and I'm so interested in reading the little stories that she has on her website that have Wynn and Daniel who are the 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 characters in the book one so yeah and I'm so excited to read book two which has Eden and he made appearances in book one and his personality is so different to the personality of the people that we were following in this book that I just want to know like who would be his other I'm so excited these are the books that I read in May I pretty much enjoyed all of them actually I, I did I enjoyed all the books I read this month and um, yeah yeah it was a pretty good month soul eater also book hangover because I'm just like can anything top that now <laughs> anyway that was my May Thank you for watching if you like this video like this video or subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll see you next time